gonna use the best NBA player from each letter to build a team. But I'm not gonna be the one choosing the letters that we're gonna use in today's video. We are actually gonna go over to the wheel. And as you can see, this wheel literally has every single letter in the alphabet on it. And whatever we land on, we must buy a player that starts with that letter. So here we go. Let's jump into it and let's fill out this empty lineup. Guys, the first position we need to fill out in this team is the point guard slot. We are actually going to go with the first letter of their last name when we spin the wheel. So I'm really hoping for C for Steph Curry. Maybe we could buy Opal Curry or something like that. Listen, man, let me just go ahead and spin the wheel and add our first player to the team. All right, boys, here we go. The wheel is spinning. I don't know what I'm really hoping for. I'm just hoping to add a good player to the team. And we get an O. I'm honestly not even too sure if there is many point guards that start with an O, but let's find out. Now, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I couldn't find a point guard that starts with the letter O. And the only one I found was Victor Oladipo. Now, this card right here is a gold. So we are starting off pretty poorly already but we're gonna have to go ahead and scoop him up for the first player in the team all right boys we're spinning this is for our shooting guard by the way the starting shooting guard give me something that's not too difficult okay s honestly off the top of my head i really can't think of a player that starts with the letter s but i'm guaranteeing you there's somebody better than a gold oladipo all right, guys, we got the letter S. Listen, this is actually way, way better. We get a Galaxy Opal, a shooting guard from the Western Conference. And of course, we're talking about none other than the Henny God himself, JR Swish, bro. JR Smith. We're going to go ahead and pick this card up for 32K and add him as the second player into the lineup. Listen, man, this was a lot better than a gold card. We definitely need good cards because there's going to be a forfeit at the end of this video as well. So guys, we get to add JR Smith into the lineup as the starting shooting guard for right now. And by the way, at the end of this video, we are going to be playing one game with this lineup. We are going to have three challenges to complete. And if we fail to complete the challenges, we are going to have to throw up the best cards in this team at the end of the video up for 500 in the auction house so there's gonna be a lot on the line let's get the player number three let's find ourselves a starting small forward all right boys let's spin the wheel once again let's see what we get okay it is lagging a little bit what is it gonna land on cd okay we get d you know what we'll take that i'm not really too sure off the top of my head once again who we can pick up but let's take a look at the auction house listen guys i don't know how i didn't think of this off the top of my head but we are going with one of the greatest to ever do it we are gonna go with the galaxy opal in this game and of course i'm talking about kevin Durant. now this man literally just slipped on the court but when i'm recording this video he just slipped on the court and literally injured his ankle so hopefully our kd today plays up the standard because we cannot have an injured kd running around with all that on the line but let's go ahead and pick this card up and let's add him to the team guys i'm gonna rip this pack whatever this player's last name starts with that is the letter we are going with i'm really hoping for something good right here i want a good big man in our team we actually get a shake we get a name with this in this pack. Let's see what this man's last name starts with. Guys, we get number seven on the Celtics right here. This is going to be Jalen Brown. Listen, man, that's actually not bad. B, I feel like a lot of names start with that. So let's go ahead and find a power forward to add into our team. Guys, if we didn't need a power forward with the letter B and it could have just been any position, we could have got so many players. We could have got Kobe Bryant. We could have literally got, uh, you know, Jalen Brunson, Jimmy Butler, Jalen Brown, Larry Bird. There's just so many, so many options. But we need a power forward in specific, and I'm going with one that is a young up-and-coming star, probably the rookie of the year this year. And of course, I'm talking about Paolo Banchero. We're going to go ahead and pick up this pink diamond Paul that we have on the market for 19K, and Adam is the starting power forward to the team. All right, boys, we're spinning the wheel again. This is for the starting center. What letter are we going to land on? We get H. Oh, my goodness, bro. I feel like that's one of those awkward letters. I have no idea who this is going to be. Listen, boys, we low-key got blessed right here. H is actually not as awkward as I thought. I wasn't thinking of a high-flying Superman when I thought of the letter H, but we're going to go ahead and pick ourselves up a nice little pink diamond Dwight Howard to add into the team as the starting center for the squad. We're going to go ahead and pick this one up for 45K right here, and that is basically going to do it for our starting lineup. We're going to get into moving to the bench now, and this is where it gets interesting because there's no position locks that we need so guys that right there is our starting lineup that's actually not too bad the wheel did not do us dirty at all in my opinion i mean of course we're waiting for a better version of kd but i you know of course i have to wait for the bit on that to be honest this team could be a lot better but it could be a lot worse let's head into the bench and pick up some better players and see what the wheel gives us all right boys we're gonna spin the wheel again listen we do have to kind of pay attention to the positions but this is where we get a little bit more freedom so we get the letter f i have no idea again who we're gonna pick up but let's take a look Listen, boys, we got some options with the letter F, but there's actually not as many options as I thought there would be. I feel like that's, you know, kind of a common letter, but I was kind of wrong. And we're actually going to go with the backup center for this one. And I'm not going to lie. It is somebody that is overdue for like, you know, kind of a crazy card. I'm already expecting him to get a crazy Galaxy Opal or Dark Matter at the end of the year. But we are going to go ahead and pick up Amethyst Taco Fall. His last name does start with F, so we can add him into the team. And I'm excited for this one. All right, boys, we spin it again. Let's see what we get this spin. I'm honestly hoping for something big, maybe like a top NBA player of all time or somebody that just has a good card. And oh my goodness, we get W. Is there even any NBA players with the last name starting with the W? 
Guys, I'm not going to lie. That might have been one of the dumbest things I've said. There's literally a million NBA players. We could go with Kemba Walker, John Wall, TJ Warren, Russell Westbrook, Hassan Whiteside, Wiggins, Williamson, Zion, of course, Christian Wood. There's a ton of players, but we are going with one above all the others. We are going to go with the Dark Matter for this one, a Dwayne Wade that we are going to add into the team. I'm excited for this. It's our first Dark Matter of the squad. Let's go ahead and pick him up. All right, boys, we put a bid on this D-Wade that we are going to hopefully win. This card is beautiful, by the way. This Dark Matter glow and this old card art. Reminds me of good old times on 2K. So we're definitely going to take this. We're going to wait for that 10. And then we're going to add both these cards right here to the team. While we wait, though, let's get another letter. And we are going to get this one from actually a new edition pack. So whatever this player's last name starts with, that's what we're going with. All right, boys, let's see what we get out of this pack. It would have been pretty crazy if we saw a shake. We get a Ruby. I don't know who this could be. Show me something good. Tyrese Halliburton, which means his last name starts with an H. Listen, man, I have a few good options on the table. Guys, we already had H before, and I was looking at some of the players before, and I already know exactly who we're going to have. We're going to go ahead and throw in this Cosmic James Harden to the bench. This is obviously a locker code card as well, and this card is actually absolutely beautiful. He is going to be our brand new starting point guard. We needed a point guard, and that Harden is going to fill a role on this team. We need to make this team as good as possible, and he is definitely a huge upgrade from this Oladipo. Boys, we're spinning the wheel again. I don't know what player number we're actually on right now, but let's see what we land on this time. We actually get... Okay, it's in between two. We get... Okay, we get K. I don't know who we're going to pick up right here, but I know there's a lot of players with the letter K. Now, boys, there's actually not that many players that start with the letter K, but there is one in specific that got a Galaxy Opal very, very recently, and we are actually going to pick up this card right here. We're going to go ahead and get the cheapest Galaxy Opal in the game for this position. He's going to be off the bench. He was a pretty good shooter back in his day, and of course, I'm talking about Kyle Korver. Now, this card right here is like 27K, but hey, man, he can shoot the ball. That's what we need off the bench. We'll take it. All right, boys, we're going to spin the wheel again. Let's see what we land on. I want to land on like Z or something crazy. I want to see what NBA players start with the letter Z, but we get... We actually get almost K again, but this time we're actually going to get an L. Let's go find somebody. Boys, obviously, if I could, I probably would have picked up LeBron, but that's his first name. So we cannot go with LeBron for the letter L. We are actually going to go with somebody who is a two-time finals MVP. And of course, I'm talking about the GOAT in my books. Kawhi Leonard, we're going to go ahead and pick up his Galaxy Opal card on the Toronto Raptors. This card, by the way, is beautiful. And we need a forward off the bench. So why not pick up Fun Guy? So guys, that is the new and improved team right there. I'm not going to lie. This starting lineup looks absolutely beautiful. The bench can use a little bit of work, but we have a few more spins left. So let's see if we can clutch it up and make a better bench. All right, boys, let's spin the wheel once again. Let's see what we land on. I want something crazy, but I want to be challenged with one of these picks. Oh my God, we almost got Q. That would have definitely been tough, but we get P right here. Let's see what we can pick up. And guys, I might be wrong, but I feel like one of the best cards in the game right now that actually starts with the letter P for their last name is actually this Michael Porter Jr. This card is very, very undervalued. I feel like he's very underrated as well. So we're going to scoop this card up and add him into the team for landing on the letter P. I'm not sure if this is the best card. Actually, Loki, I think there's probably a better card out there, but we're just going to go with MPJ because why not? So guys, for this next one, we're going to load into a triple threat offline game. Whatever the card in the middle's last name starts with, that's what letter we're going to go with. You guys will see what I mean. Let's load in. All right, guys. So the card in the middle is the card right there, Corliss Williamson. I have no idea that was even a real player, but... His last name starts with a W. That's all we need. Let's move on. Let's go find a player with the W. Guys, I want to go with somebody for this one that is, uh, you know, kind of going to provide an impact off the bench. He is a high flyer. And of course, I'm talking about Zion Williamson. We're going to go ahead and add this card to our team. We're going to pick up the Galaxy Opal All-Star Game version. Actually, I don't know which one to pick up. We're just going to go with this one, though. Let's go ahead and throw him at the end of the bench. And we have one more spot to fill, so let's get to that. My son, pick a random letter. X. X. All right, guys, you guys heard it, bro. He said X. I have no idea if any player in NBA history starts with the letter X, but let's find out. Bro, there's no, there's no player in NBA history. Give me another letter. Y. Okay. All right, we'll take it. All right, boys, you heard him again. This time he said Y. I don't know what it is with the end of the alphabet, but let's find out if there's anybody with the letter Y. Boys, you know what? We're going to stay humble with this one. There is one player that I can think of off the top of my head. I'm not even going to look on no type of list. We're just going to go ahead and pick up Trey Young. We're going to pick any version of this, and we're just going to throw him into the end of the bench. All right, boys. So that is the finalized team. This team is looking really, really good, but... A lot of these players are going to be put on the line, including this Dark Matter D-Wade. If we do not win these next two games that we're going to play, we're going to have to throw up some cards. So I'm nervous. I'm excited. Let's jump into it. Boys, we're going to play two games, one with the starting lineup, one with the bench. And we are going to basically have to complete three challenges. Each challenge that we don't complete equals a player throwing up for 500. So let's get into the challenges. Let me show you guys what we need to do. All right, boys, the three challenges are simple. One of them, we have to get a posterizing dunk with any player in our team. Number two, we have to hit a four-point shot with each one of the teams. So the bench and the starting lineup. And number three, we need to win both the 
games in order to save all of our players so here we go let's jump into it all right boys game one with the starting lineup here we go boys look my main focus is going to be just to win these games because if we don't win we basically are cooked right off the bat there we go nice little layup by Kawhi Leonard we just got to focus on winning boys listen we got to get a poster somehow some way oh my goodness I don't know if that counts that was nice but I don't think it counts we are all tied up at nine we got D-Way with the basketball listen he is our best player on this floor let's see what he can do can he cook I don't even know who that is gardening us. Is that Wiggins? Matter of fact, you know what, bro? Backdoor cut. Backdoor cut. I know it's cheese, but we need to win this game. Well, boys, we're down by two. Don't ask what happened. I mean, just blame it on Dwight Howard. That's all I got to say, bro. There's a reason he's playing in Taiwan and not the NBA. Oh, my God. KD. The fade. Why did I have to shoot a fade? We'll take it, though. Green light. Tie game. Boys, my game literally just froze. I know you saw that. I'll probably show it to you guys, bro. I'm not going to lie. That just might have screwed us out of this victory. Quiet behind the back. Why are we going for layups? Oh my God, and then Dwight misses a dunk. Nah, bro, this is rigged. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, guys, we need a four-pointer. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I know KD's released the best. Oh my God, I see him right there. KD, KD, cut back. I'm pulling it. I have to. Off one foot. Oh my God, it's not enough. Get the ball, get the ball. And we can't even get the rebound. This game is over, bro. We already lost one of the challenges. That's just disgusting. All right, boys, game two with our bench. This game, we're gonna be focused on two challenges. Listen, winning isn't as important. We need to hit a four-point shot. And we also need to, you know, get a posterizing dunk because I don't think the last one counts. And oh my goodness, Paulo. And by the way, boys, if we get a rage quit from this dude, I mean, all the challenges are instantly completed except for the win one. So we're going to have to quick sell one player. Trey Young for four. Psych, I lied. Paulo, does that count as a poster? I don't know, bro. I feel like he just jammed it over Taco. All right, boys, let's see what we can do right here. Paulo with the basketball. I'm going all the way. Oh my goodness. He is throwing down every dunk. Boys, we need this four pointer. I don't want to discard another player. Kyle Corbett for four. I mean, that release is just silky smooth. We got the four-pointer. That's all that matters. Challenge checked off. All right, boys, look. We completed the poster dunk. We completed the four-pointer. The only thing we didn't complete is to win both games. We only won the second game. Um, I'm not going to lie. It was a pretty easy win. So we're going to have to do one discard from this team. Let's randomize it, and let's see what Siri picks. All right, boys. I'm about to ask Siri to pick a number one through 13. Whatever she picks is going to be discarded for 500. Listen, bro, that D-Wade at number seven is going to make my heart break. Let's hope it's not number seven. Hey, Siri, pick a number one through 13. That would be eight. Eight. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is Taco Fall. It was one off D Wade. Oh my goodness, bro. We saved ourselves. But Taco Fall, you will be missed. Boys, Taco Fall is going to be our discard for the video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. If you haven't already, check out the video on the screen right now. You will definitely, definitely enjoy that one. And I will see you guys in the next video, man. Stay tuned. We got some bangers coming. I'll catch you then. Peace.